So we have come to Canterbury, which is now Kent's only city. And despite only living up the road, we are putting our tourist hats on today to try and find out why tourists from all over the world love it here so much. First things first, create a Rupert Bear. Lived here. It's weird, I never e ever knew that. I mean, I wouldn't have even been able to tell you the name of the person that created Rupert Bear, let alone the fact that they actually, well, it says spent the end of her life here. So I'm assuming she died here, which is now a travel lodge. <laughs> so in the spirit of being tourists for the day, we're gonna do something that neither of us have ever done here in Canterbury before. Looked at it many times, but never done it. And we are here. This is St. Augustine's Abbey. There's Abbey ruins and everything inside this gatehouse, just through there. However, we're trying to figure out how to get in. We don't know the way in at the moment. No. We've just looked on the English Heritage site because it is an English Heritage property. So for us, that's good news because as members, we free. get in for free. Result. We do love a freebie, but we think we might have to go that way. So we're gonna see if we can find the entrance. Trust us, there's even a sign over there telling us which way to get in. Also, post box in a historic wall. Just Does. in case you need to post anything. Don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> Found it, made it, 14 pound for an admission and guidebook or £10 admission if you're not a member, we're saving ourselves a fortune. You're doing some sort of virtual reality. This is really cool actually. So it shows you what the Abbey would have looked like before Henry VIII destroyed it. Oh, okay. It's actually a little bit creepy. This is I actually know, what he's looking at I right now. I'm looking in the direction <laughs> somewhere and I'm talking to you, but <laughs> I'm in a different world. All the time. Oh, there's Pokemon. So now I'm back in the real world. <laughs> there's a map that shows us where everything is out here, but this is huge in here. I never expect. It literally expands all the way up there. I didn't even know this was here. Yeah, me neither. How long have you lived in this area? My whole life. 30, 30 years. years. <laughs> so you can pick up an audio guide to walk around, but we're not really audio guide type of people, no. except when we go to Alcatraz in California in a few weeks' time. That's going to. That'll be, be different. different. But there is so many signs telling you what you're actually looking at or what would have been here, as you can see. Like us on a Saturday night, it's ruined. They never get better, guys. They never get better. Look how big this church would have been that stood here. So that would have given the cathedral a run for its money, wouldn't it? Yeah, this would look like it would have been one, two, three, four, five, probably six floors. Well, that's the penthouse. <laughs> well, yeah, but still. <laughs> yeah. Still six floors. Six floors. That is enormous cool. and I'm assuming that arch at the back would have been oh I don't know maybe that is this arch maybe we're just looking at it from a wrong perspective I don't know why would they put that there so that would be there yeah but then what's this bit why does it look so different I don't know comment down below let me know <laughs> <laughs> we're good at history <laughs> I passed every subject <laughs> Outer Narthex. Inner Narthex. Nave. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to love the UK, haven't you? Like, we literally stood here in the ruins of an abbey from AD 597, and then you kind of pan this way, and you've got these super modern office buildings in the background. They call it reality. They call it reality. I don't know if you can see, they're just like peeking over there. There's like a really weird modern church building. It's so cool. Hydrate people. <laughs> oh, look at this. So Jason, this is cool. I feel like I've stepped into the middle of like a cult circle, like a Stonehenge or something. It kind of is, yeah, because they're all around that's the ceremonial sacrifice table at the end <laughs> shove you in there well there's already somebody on it she doesn't know her fate you go girl <laughs> you go girl <laughs> it's very uneven why is the rum always gone now that is a great view you got the cathedral in the far back and then you got the ruins that looks beautiful. That flag on top of that tower yep. is where we started trying to look for our way in. That is true, fun <laughs> fact right there. It's huge in here though, isn't it? It it's is, really, you've got like all really of this, spread out. We've got all of this land. It doesn't look that big actually in the video, but it actually really is. Also, this is a, a chapel that was at the back here as well. 
still got his little arch and you've got some beautiful trees. And that's a mound. Oh, that's a mound. It's the Campanile mound. It's not the mound. What was the mound we done? Oh, the Marble Arch mound. No, on a road trip. Oh, oh, give me a minute, give me a minute. Uh, Silbury Hill. Yes, but uh, no one knows at, why um, it's there. At um, Avebury. Yeah. Comment yes. down below if you've watched that video. No, this isn't quite as old as that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you just imagine though, looking at this now and how big this actually spans out, what we would have left in this country if Henry VIII wasn't such a Before we leave though and go into the city centre, there is a little museum inside. Yes. So we'll take a little sneaky peek. There is an actual dead body in there. Lovely! <laughs> they actually found it in the grounds in one of the chapel areas and it's now in a glass cabinet in the museum Poncho. and you're going to tell me that place is not haunted. Oh, 100%. Oh. 100%. Anyway, coffee? Yes, pistachio latte. Yes, we want to go and find Cafe Nero. I said that so weird. Oh, if you haven't tried the Cafe Nero pistachio latte yet. Cafe Nero, 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 Nero. Get yourself to one. <laughs> Now this is where we actually started trying to find our way in but we were so distracted with what was the other way we didn't notice these two statues here that's what we were pointing at and also you get a cracking view of the cathedral over the city walls as well beautiful need a beautiful. coffee though can we just uh it's so warm you know today. i'm dry here very warm so we've been let down by cafe nero two of them. yep one is, seems to be shut down, and the other one has oh, run out of ice on a hot summer's day. This city is no London. <laughs> but it may redeem itself yet, because we've decided that now we can't get our pistachio ice latte. Where We're on the hunt for a bubble tea. There is a bubble tea. Wait, do we need to go up there? I think we need to go up here. Let's go this way. <laughs> we'll let you know when we find one. Okay, we found Moo Boo's bubble tea. We are happy. We have one raspberry bubble tea with tapioca, yep. and then we've got one peach milk bubble tea with tapioca. It was rammed around there. Obviously, the entrance to the cathedral is around there. Do you know how much it is to get into the cathedral? Bearing in mind we were in Rochester a couple of weeks ago, which used to be Kent's second city, but isn't a city anymore. How we much? went in the cathedral for there for nothing. How do you much? know how much it is here? 20 quid. 14 pounds. No, thank you. Although we do get 20% off as English Heritage members. <laughs> I've already done it, look. Oh, well done. Oh, you wiggle wiggled it. Wiggle wiggle. <laughs> right. We've come into Dane John to sit and drink them because it's a little bit quieter in here, but it is absolutely roasting today. We're hoping this is better than the Bubbleology one that we tried at Blue Water. Oh, <laughs> chef's kiss of approval from Josh. That's it's, the raspberry one. It's still not as thick as the one we had in London, but this is, this is nice. It's sweet, it's fresh. It's just nice. <laughs> the weather probably helps, really like to be fair. The weather probably does help. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to enjoy these, tuck in, and then we're going to go for a walk around the city walls. Are you feeling suitably refreshed? Yeah, I'm just sitting here looking back at my youth. Well, good that you are refreshed. Going up the top of that hill. Hey, you never seen about the hill? You said we were going to walk along the wall and head back. We're back. going up the hill. Here we go. Coming to rescue us. Yeah, please, take me. Feeling the burn. <laughs> well, we've got quite a lot of calories to burn today. Exactly, that was my thinking. A lot exactly. of the stuff we've halved today, but still gonna burn them off. Also, the view from the top is pretty spectacular. That's true. The unsensible way. I'm sure that's what I did last time. There's I'll meet you. I'm, oh God, don't fall down. I'm gonna go this way. Beautiful view of the building site over there. Oh my god, this is really high. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, this is high. Keep going. Oh, this is the more, the more better view. That's terrible English. This is a better view. Oh. Don't go that way. Oh. I'm knackered. There's seats. Do you like a seat? Can we just appreciate this view across the city though? It is pretty special up here, isn't it? I mean, look at that view of the cathedral. 
Who needs to pay 14 quid to go in it when you can sit up here and look at it from that? That's amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Got the Marlowe Theatre over there as well. Still never been in there. You have. I've been on there. I've been on the stage. <laughs> Sweeping it. <laughs> no. This always makes me a little bit sad. This is Canterbury Castle. It's falling apart. Yeah. It's, go near it. it's a shame for such a historic city with like the cathedral and then St Augustine's Abbey and everything where we went earlier that they can't do something with this. Yeah. Although I'm sure I read somewhere that they are planning on doing something with it. Well, but hopefully. Comment down below if you know. It's just a shame it's been sat there for so long. Well, obviously been sat there for so long. I think it's part of, they're, they're going to access some sort of government grant or something yeah. to do stuff across the whole city and this is one of the plans. But yeah, comment down below if you let us know because we don't like seeing it like this. You can't go in and look around at the minute. We would love to come and do that punting one day. Every time we come here, we're like, we will do that. Summer, we'll do that. It's summer now. We we're not doing it. it. <laughs> But we will, because they've got a cute little coffee shop and everything where coffee and cake is only a fiver and you know yeah. what sells us on something more than coffee and cake and that is nothing. So I think maybe we'll come down on a weekday, hopefully the end of the summer. Probably not going to happen this year. We've um, got a massive California trip coming up in a few weeks so... We've got a lot you know. planned after California. It's just, nah, we'll do it, we will do it though. Documenting it here. This is probably one of our favourite places in Canterbury. Westgate Gardens. It's very pretty, like we'll show you when we get round there, um, round there, like when we start walking around a little bit more. But it's just so beautiful, very picturesque. It's so chill in here, it's such a chill vibe as well, all these gardens with everyone just kind of relaxing in the summer sun. The river Stow is just there actually, trickling along. It's, the water's so clean, we've just seen some little baby ducks just like floating along the river with their mum. Are you warm? Very warm. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sticky. We shouldn't complain, we don't get this weather in the UK that much. No, but well, this grass looks doesn't look that bad, but when you go around the corner, the grass is very dry. Where it's not, we've not had that much rain. Yeah, it's all gone brown, all died a little bit, yeah. but it still looks pretty around it. It's obviously a popular spot with everyone down here. It's <laughs> because there's a lot of shade. I know. I mean, look at it. It is stunning. We just wanted to show our appreciation for this man here who has turned two old red phone boxes into a little coffee takeaway. Absolutely love it. Never seen it done before. I, I really want to go and buy one from him just to support him because I think that is genius, but is genius. I'm stuffed. Lot, yeah, we spent a lot of money on drinks today. <laughs> oh, we'll come back and do it. We've got to come back and do it. Now we know it's here. The worst bit of being in a city now. To think how much We've got to find out how much it's going to cost oh, us to park. £5.40. £5.40 for three hours? That's not not too bad. You, you're going to struggle to find free parking in Canterbury, to be fair. You're going to have to pay for I do know a couple anyway. of places, but I couldn't bother. So I think I know why tourists love Canterbury, because it is absolutely beautiful in parts, and there is so much history here to see and do. We've barely scratched the surface. There's loads of museums. There is so much things we could do. You've got the Canterbury Tales experience as well. I've never, ever done that. But the problem for us as locals is it's so expensive because of all that. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. The cathedral is 14 quid. In Rochester, it's free. So St. Augustine's Abbey would have been 14 quid, but we're English Heritage members, so it's free. Parking is extortionate. Which we knew anyway. And obviously food and drink is more expensive here because it's a city, but still worth visiting. But if you want to go and visit Rochester Cathedral for free, then check out our Rochester video that's on screen now, because that is definitely a fun day. And you can definitely find free parking there, because we did.